kick it off. We got the 76ers at the New York Knicks. Right now, Sixers catching four and a half points in New York, plus 163 in the money line, total sitting at 202. I'm not officially picking the Sixers, not going to do this anymore. Uh, They're just such an incredibly frustrating team. If I had to choose a side, obviously I'm going to pick the Sixers. I could see them getting off to a good start, but I don't know how they're going to close. Four and a half is like right on that edge. I do think this is going to be a really good game. A lot of these games have been pretty good. Come down to the wire. Really? I mean, the, the correlation is whoever wins the rebounding battle wins the game. As simple as it sounds, the team who has won the rebounding differential has won the game four and oh, if you win the rebounding battle and I, I don't know if I, how much I can trust the Sixers to get the rebounds. Um, you know, Embiid was calling out the fans. Hey, what? Uh, let's stop worrying about what they're chanting and worrying about getting a rebound in the fourth quarter. Hey, shots sometimes don't go in. Rebounds are consistent, right? Like you got. I don't know if it's an effort thing, a scheme thing, whatever. Uh, I'm believing that maybe they can at least keep this a game, close it out, or sorry, not well, like when the game is getting closed out, their backs are against the wall. I would love to see some fight from the Sixers. I don't know. I couldn't get to anything officially. I'd imagine they start out good, but who knows with this team noobs, what are we doing with our Sixers or what are you doing? I'm staying away. I just feel so negative. I'm trying to think of something nice to say. I have nothing, Sean. I kind of just want this to be over, honestly. Like, let's just be done with this. Like, and beat as a mind grain, great. Let's just say that's the reason. Let's bench his ass so he doesn't blow his knee out. Uh, let's wrap it all up, rest everybody, send him into the summer, and let's figure this shit out. Because I just, I don't, it might be a scheme thing. I don't care. Rebounding is effort. Anybody that has yeah. ever played basketball knows the dudes yeah. that get the rebounds are the guys that want the freaking rebounds. Uh, it, it beat Dever box out. He does this thing. He turns sideways and like shoves his hands into people's chest, which again, I don't know why that's legal at this point, but I, 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 I know I sound like an old guy. No one boxes out. They don't. It's I just know. terrible. Uh, in the fourth quarter, I mean, uh, can you remember? I can't really remember for the last five minutes, the Sixers grabbing a defensive rebound. I remember the Knicks tipping it out of bounds. I don't remember anyone in the Sixers grabbing a rebound and like bringing it in to watch the Knicks shoot the ball two, three times in a row. And uh, I don't know who was counting offensive rebounds. I'd have to go back and double check it. Uh, I think the Knicks had 19. It looked like they had 12 in the fourth quarter alone. So I, I don't know what's going on there. It's just, it's hard to do here, but Philadelphia has done one thing consistently and they've done it all year. When Embiid plays, they are great for the first 12 minutes of the game. Nick Nurse has adopted something pretty close to the substitution style the Nuggets use with Jokic. And B basically plays the first 9, 10, 11 minutes of the quarter, gives them a big advantage. He's actually played the whole first quarter a couple times in, in this series, which, again, I don't know if it's really that smart. But if I'm going to bet on the first quarter, that's certainly good for us. The Sixers are one-point underdogs in the first quarter. I would have it closer to a pick em. Overall, I have this game a little bit closer. But like you said, Sean, I don't know if it's just a depressed Sixers fan <laughs> who just feels hurt and beat up at this point, which I predicted would happen a week, two weeks ago. I knew all this was coming. It changes yeah. nothing, but uh, I like the sixes here in the first quarter. That's really my favorite. Look, the rest of the game is kind of tough. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, my parents were in town visiting and uh, I was driving them around a little bit. Um, we were listening to the game on the radio, the Sixers, a local broadcast and Tom McGinnis was just losing his mind. He's like, and they got another offensive rebound. Like it's the rebounding is just so frustrating. Uh, Chris, how say you? Yeah, that's kind of how the Knicks win these games too, right? I mean, we've seen that a lot all season. It's not that they're necessarily the most talented team on the court, right? They just have a lot of tenacity, a lot of resilience. They play with a lot of team chemistry. And I, I don't know. We've heard a lot of things about Tom Thibodeau over the years, but clearly that guy, or maybe it's just the personnel that he's had in the past, but this team seems like they're buying in to the culture that he set, and they just seem unified in those really tense moments of games, which is why they end up winning a lot of those games. But I don't think you can argue that the Knicks have a more talented roster than the 76ers. I mean, you got the reigning MVP in there. You got Tyrese Maxey, most improved player. They have a ton of depth, a ton of experience. And this feeling or this situation reminds me of what happened after game two, right? Philly just uh, upset, frustrated about the way that that game ended, and they came into game three and we saw the best version of them. The Knicks defense only allowing 16 points to the 76ers in that fourth quarter of game four, really just tightening up there. Uh, just a frustrated 76ers squad, uh, you know, just across all 
the entire spectrum, really, right? Just on offense, defense, they just weren't in sync. And shoot, sh- shooting-wise, they shot worse in that game than they have all series. So I just expect the 76ers to come into this one on fire and motivated from that, too. They've won three out of four first quarters. Uh, you know, I was going to go with an under in this game, but then I talked myself off of that, too, because this could be the elimination game, right? It could be a lot of points at the end as Philly tries to catch up. Sometimes we see that. I thought that maybe the Knicks would be the right side, too, heading back home, but I also don't think so there, guys. I mean, this has been a tough series, a tight series, and I think this line is pretty sharp. So I like the first quarter, too, with Alex. The 76ers have been really good in the first quarter, the more energetic team to start. That's kind of how New York starts games, too, right? More methodical, just kind of measuring their opponent. You would think they wouldn't do that at this point in the series, but the 76ers have been more effective. So if you're giving me the Sixers as an underdog at the start of this contest, I will, I will align with Alex. God help us, Alex, in this first quarter bet <laughs> on your 76ers. Or yeah. Owen, whatever, when we bet the same games. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I think, I'm, I think I'm 0 and 10 on first quarter bets in the playoffs so far or something <laughs> like that. So I'm bound to get one right eventually. Yeah, this is ult- ultimate regression. Let's go. Um, yes, uh, we got to uh, lock it up for Chris Sixers first quarter, lock it up for noops Sixers first quarter, both catching a point. Alex, what do you real quick, up? Sean? Yes. Can the producers put up Corey goes message right there? Because that's, that's some great work by him. Hopefully they can put up the bad and sync joke there. Yeah, <laughs> that's just <laughs> the only thing the Sixers have in sync is going ba ba ba. Uh, that is uh, Corey. That is a uh, very, uh, very good joke and unfortunate. I would say that strong one- early chat MVP candidacy. <laughs> one last uh, thought: uh, the NBA league office uh, wouldn't mind this series extended with already a couple sweeps in the books. Just saying. Oh, I like those, this. For those who uh, have a conspiracy-minded brain when it comes to the NFL referee, ref- NBA Scott Foster refing tonight. I don't. I think he is, but not this game. I'm, Unfortunately, I'm on the Pacers and he's on that Pacers Bucks game. So we'll see if the series extender helps them out. Uh-